hey everyone so welcome back to another tutorial i hope you are doing well and today i will be showing you how to install wordpress on your DigitalOcean droplet and this tutorial is for beginners and i will show you the easiest way to install wordpress quickly on your DigitalOcean droplet and um, DigitalOcean has a current offer going on where they are offering free hosting of worth hundred dollars credit for 60 days and if you want to learn how to get this you can watch my other video the link will be in the description and my referral link will be also in the comments so let's get start the tutorial and first you have to do is sign up for DigitalOcean obviously um, do that if you don't know how to do it uh, watch my other tutorial and then you will need a domain <coughs> sorry then you will need a domain for your website so um, I will say go to your domain registrar first and um, if you already have a domain like I have well you can just manage change the DNS servers and if you don't well you can find my link in the description um, sign up and get a domain super easy so for example um, in this tutorial I'm going to use my this domain for the tutorial so um, what I will do is go to select it and go to manage okay now this setting will be a uh, different for all registrars like if you have godaddy the interface will be different but um, the process is same basically you have to do change the dns servers so um, normally what it it will be set to um, name check basic dns or something okay what you have to do is custom dns change it to custom dns and put this three dns address ns1.digitalocean.com ns2 ns3 okay and um, i will put this all in the video description so, so you can copy it from there and um, for your convenience so i uh, will suggest you to do that first so your domain is already pointing at the uh, digitalocean name servers and okay once you have done this just um, cl click on this tick mark and it will show you the success message that DNS servers may update and because it takes time for uh, the DNS servers to update this is why I am telling you to first do this okay now once you have done this go back to the distribution dashboard and from here on the left sidebar click on this new project okay enter your project name so I will just um, demo WordPress tutorial you can name it anything you want demo wordpress and um, just leave this blank and um, it is mandatory to fill so you know just website or blog and then click on create project okay and here click your skip for now and that's um, then click on this option get started with a droplet and here you um, go to the marketplace tab and from here um, on top you will see this wordpress and just select it if you do not see it you can search it here or um, see all the apps and select the wordpress and then select the plan i'll um, just keep it on the basic and this is the five dollar month plan so this um, since i have free credit so it will be deducted from that and i will not be charged for it um, before till i use it before my uh, free trial period so here um, select the data center which is closest to you or your visitors so i will select the amsterdam one okay and okay just keep and they you don't have to do anything here and leave the leave all this blank and instead of me you can create a um okay so here you can um yeah two options for authentication you can create a ssh key um a more secure uh, or the second option is to simply create a root password to access your droplet um it's a bit um, complicated i would suggest you just use this option to do it quickly and um type your password here so i will generate a new password right now from this and paste it here and okay so the password is now accepted and let's try again just scroll down and then click on create droplet 
okay this will take just few seconds for the drop droplet to set up okay so the once the droplet setup process is complete that's it um, you will get this IP and um, now what you have to do is you will see this three dot options just click on it and from here go to access console okay now to login type root press enter and then um, paste the password which we um, set earlier okay, the password will not be visible when you paste it but it will be there after pasting it or entering it press the enter button and okay so the okay so the we have logged in into the SSH okay now press ctrl plus C to cancel the setup we will do it um, from the graphic user interface directly from browser so press ctrl plus C and that's it press enter now minimize this and now copy this password oh sorry IP and open in a open a new tab and paste it here paste and go okay so this will prompt you for the wordpress installation press, select your language press continue select the site title and then click on this button install wordpress okay once you have done this you can now log into your wordpress admin area okay that's it that's how simple it is to set up wordpress and now let's update the wordpress to the latest version so it's very important for security reasons to always keep your wordpress installation up to date and once the update process is complete that's it now you can go to the dashboard and now from here go to settings and general okay so we have set up the wordpress till now and um, now what you have to do is point your domain to it and add SSL certificate to secure your website as you can see here currently it is showing not secure okay so to do that and if you have already done updated the DNS server of your domain name so okay I hope then it should be point if it is updated and if you have not done that you will have to um, go to your domain registrar and um, uh, update this DNS servers name servers you can find it in the video description once you have done this um, let's go back to the dissolution um, tab and from here um, click on this again three dot options and click add a domain okay now enter your domain here so for example I will um, set up my um, subdomain for you. you can enter your main domain here Okay, demo dot my vb. Um, sorry, spelling mistake. Security dot net. That's it. And um, just keep this selected. Um, this make sure this is the right installation, and then click on add domain. Okay, the domain name has been added to your droplet. That's it. And from here, you will see all the records here. Okay. The, so what um and you from here you will get also a link that you can watch um how to update the name servers but for your registrar like for namecheap but i would suggest you to do this um, the first step so that um, till you reach this step the update process will probably be complete and um, usually for namecheap it gets updated you know usually within minutes so depending on your registrar it may take some time and here add another record as you see there is no www.record so i will enter that and redirect it to this um, make sure you remember this 
uh, which is your droplet and then create record okay so the record has been successfully um, added I did this so that while installing a uh, SSL certificate we do not get any error and we will install it for both these domains okay so that's uh, it has been done now what you have to do is um, here you can update it okay um let's first install the ssl certificate and then we will try to um, 